One of the things that we need to do as web developers is pre-process style sheet languages into CSS. CSS by itself doesn't support any programming functionality, so there are languages like Less and Sass and SCSS that we can use to get some higher functionality out of our style files. Let's go ahead and take a look at our exercise files. And in chapter 11, lesson two, under the start file, you will notice that in the public folder, we no longer have a CSS folder. We only have an index.html file. Now this index.html file is looking for a style sheet that is in the CSS folder, but that style sheet needs to be produced. We are gonna go ahead and produce that style sheet from a less style sheet. So if I look under the less folder, I have the actual less syntax here that needs to be converted into regular CSS. Let's go ahead and install a plugin that will allow us to convert less to CSS. So let's navigate to our terminal. And in our project, we also want to install grunt contrib less. And I will save that to our dev dependencies. So now we are installing a plugin that will convert less to CSS. Once we have this plugin installed, we are ready to configure this task in our grunt file. So let's go ahead and navigate to your code in the finder. And what we're gonna do is open up that grunt file JS to add another task. And what I'm gonna do is inside of my grunt init config, configuration details literal, I'm gonna go ahead and add another task for less. So there's a task for JS hint, and now I'm setting up the details for our less task. So what we need to do is specify where the less files are and where the CSS should go. And we do this in the production node. So here I'm adding production. And then the next thing I'm gonna add is a files node under the production node so that we know how to convert the less files into CSS in our production environment. So what I wanna do is actually publish my CSS to the public folder. And we wanna publish it under the CSS folder and then under style.css. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to specify all of the less files that we need to use to make this style CSS file in this array. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna say, let's take everything under the less folder, even though we only have one file, but if we do add more less files, we will take all of those less files and then pre-process them into style CSS. So what I also need to do is add my task. I'm gonna go ahead and grunt load npm task, grunt contrib less, and this will add that less plugin to grunt so that I can use it. And then the other thing that we wanna do is register a task. What I'm gonna do as opposed to registering this as a default task is I'm gonna set up another task called CSS. I can use the grunt register task function over and over again. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna register a task called CSS. And when we run the CSS task, what I want to do is run the less task. So when we run CSS, we want grunt to run less. So we should have everything set up to actually do this conversion. Let's go ahead and check it out. So if I save my file and I go out to the terminal and we go ahead and clear all of that terminal junk, and now I should be able to run grunt CSS. And if I navigate to my files, you should notice that under the public folder, there is now a CSS folder. So the grunt CSS or the grunt less task actually made this CSS folder and then under it, it exported a CSS style sheet. So these are the CSS styles. You can open them up and look at them. So this style sheet was created from our less file. If I actually go back to my exercise files, I can look under the less folder and also open up style.less. And you can see that this syntax for less has been converted into this syntax for our style.css. Now, if I look at this style sheet, I notice that we are using Flexbox. I can see a display flex, 
flex direction, justify content, so on and so forth. The issue with this is if we're going to make sure that Flexbox works in all browsers, we're going to need to add vendor prefixes. This can be a daunting task to do by hand. So Grunt has a way that we can actually auto prefix our CSS file so that it will work in as many browsers as possible. Let's go ahead and add the auto prefixer. I'm going to navigate to our terminal. And from our terminal, I want to npm install grunt auto prefixer. And we will save this package to our package JSON under dev dependencies. So this is the plugin that will automatically add vendor prefixes to your CSS file. And once we have this plugin installed, we can go ahead and configure a grunt task for auto prefixing. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate back to my grunt file. And from my grunt file, what I want to do right here under less is add an auto prefixer node. So the next task we're going to add is auto prefixer. And under this auto prefixer node, we're going to go ahead and say we want to add auto prefixing to a single file. So we will use a single file node. And then under that, we're gonna specify the source with a SRC node. And we're actually gonna auto prefix our exported CSS file. So I wanna select the file that's in the public CSS folder called style.css. And that's gonna be my source CSS file. What I wanna do is run the auto prefixer and then re-export or overwrite this CSS style file with vendor prefixes. So I'm gonna go ahead and also add dest, and we will add public slash CSS slash style dot CSS. Great. Now that I've configured the auto prefixer and told it which file to run on and which file to export, I also need to make sure that I load that NPM task. So we're gonna grunt load NPM task, and we want to load the grunt auto prefixer. There we go. And now here's the fun part. I'm going to add this to my CSS task. Whenever I run grunt CSS, the first thing I want to do is export my CSS file from less. And then the second thing I want to do is auto prefix that exported file. So I will set up a call to the auto prefixer task from grunt CSS. The other thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna add the CSS task to my default grunt list. So now by default, when we run grunt, we're gonna run JS hint, then we're gonna run the CSS task. The CSS task is gonna run less and then it's gonna auto prefix our exported CSS for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and let's navigate back to the terminal. And this time, let's clear this up. I'm gonna run grunt CSS. And we can see that we exported a CSS style sheet and we auto prefix that style sheet. And in fact, if I run grunt, we're gonna see three things happen. One, we're gonna run JS hint. Then we're gonna export our style sheet from less. Then we're gonna auto prefix our style sheet. Let's go ahead and navigate back to our files. And let's go into our public folder under the CSS folder and take a look at this style sheet that we exported. So now we see that vendor prefixes have automatically been added where they are needed. And all of our Flexbox stuff has vendor prefixing now. Great. So now we've used Grunt to actually export our CSS.